welcome. Now today I'm going to do a joystick restoration here because I've got quite an interesting one. Now this is a Koenig's Speed King from 1987 and uh, I have seen these from back in the day but I just I never understood them. You know, my in my mind, a joystick was just like the zip stick. You would have a button there or two buttons there, and a stick, and that's it. <laughs> I didn't even know how one would hold this, and I just like stayed away from it. Now this one, as you can see here, is the Koenig Speed King, 1987, and uh, my friend Robert from the Nostalgia Road Trip has got an Epix one that looks exactly the same. It's an Epix Speed King. So I'm curious. It must have been. I don't know, two different brands doing the same thing, or maybe it's the same brand. Now it is micro switched, and I like that. I do, I know it's loud, I know it's noisy, but I do like micro switch joysticks, I prefer them. Now, Konix or Epix made speaking joysticks for quite a, quite a few platforms. Uh, I know one was for Amiga, another was for the Nintendo, the NES, and um, this one is, I mean, this works perfectly on an Amiga and Commodore 64, uh, and it actually works as a two button, but it's for the Sega, Sega Master System. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing about Master System, it's the same controller, you can use it on the Amiga, it's just like a standard DB9. So, yeah, this one has auto fire, which is you know, pretty cool. I do like Microsoft micro joysticks. I know they're loud, I know everything, but I just prefer them. I always have them. Now, I like the feel of the stick there, but the these feel really squishy. And I've got a feeling that the micro switches are going or something's not right with them. And you can even hear there. They just sound so mushy. <laughs> I don't like it. I need to kind of like see what's happening inside there. And uh, I hope this is easy to open in the sense of I do. I hope I don't have to remove the label or anything because it's really nice. I love the design of this for the 80s. So let's open this up and have a look. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so taking this apart, let's take this out and be careful because that is, um, what you call it, the... Uh, there's a sticker which I do not want to damage, the outer sticker. Now to my surprise, this does not have any micro switches as in the type we're used to seeing. This has got built-in switches, built-in micro switches. As you can see here, the mechanism. Quite fascinating to look at it. I think this is going to need some contact cleaning because if you notice it still feels mushy like metal rubbing against metal I had a suspicion that it was going to be like this that it's not going to be standard micro switches I'm actually impressed let's get some dioxide and spray under here I should not be doing this with bare hands really should be putting gloves on that feels better instantly there's no freaking rubby mushing I mean <laughs> mushy rubbing <laughs> feeling on this rubby mushing feeling like there is here this feels clean okay Fantastic! That's an instant difference there. Nice. I'm so glad I don't have to replace any switches or anything like this. That's a lot of contact cleaner. I know. I need to kind of like let that trip out as well. Actually, while I'm here, I will do the switch too. Oh, I feel so icky. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, I think more or less that's it. Now here we go. It's back together again. How old Humpty Dumpty. And I have to say it feels much better now. Um, 
up, down, left, right is fine. Then you have fiber and A, fiber and B. They do not feel mushy anymore. That contact cleaner just worked wonders. So, and it's much comfortable now. So I have to say, you know, after this very quick restoration, <laughs> um, you know, it's actually fine now. It doesn't feel mushy anymore. It feels just perfect. Uh, the switching, the switch just... I was actually fascinated seeing inside of this, to be honest. You know, I didn't expect it to be like that. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, a cage with freaking micro switches on it and two there. <laughs> but I'm impressed. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For the generous donations, I would like to say a big thank you to my patrons. And if you wish to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below, as well as links to my patrons, websites, YouTube channels. And until next time, I will say adios.